Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, we're doing something very different from any other In-Depth. I'm actually talking about strategy. Since I've already reviewed every single gun and grenade and everything in this game, you guys have been hammering me asking for strategy videos, so I'm going to try my hand at it today. And we're going to talk about assault kill streaks and playing as an assault player. Hope you're ready for this. In Modern Warfare 3, there are three different kinds of point streaks. You have Assault, Support, and Lone Wolf. The Support kill streaks, I liken them to Liam Neeson and Taken. They only want the objective. He only wants his objective. He wants to get his daughter back, and he's going to kill anything in his way. And all the gadgets and tips and tricks and tools that he used were only accessories to obtaining that goal. The Specialist kill streaks are more like Christian Bale and Equilibrium. He is unstoppable, godlike killing machine. That's how you feel when you get all the perks and proficiencies. You may be doing a lot of good with it, killing a lot of people, changing the world, etc, etc, but you're only doing it for very, very selfish reasons. And lastly, we have the right and proper assault kill streaks. I liken this to Terry Crews and the Expendables. He takes a lot of flack for doing it his way, for not being a team player, for not cooperating, that sort of thing, but when he walks down the hallway with a gigantic fully automatic shotgun tearing up ass right and left, nobody is there to question him. It's the exact same in Modern Warfare 3. If you're running a support kill streak, then oh, you're a team player, you're the best, everybody likes you. If you're running that lone wolf uh, specialist kind of stuff, oh look at him, he's going for his Moab today, he's not helping anybody. And if you're running assault kill streaks, then you're just a kill whore and you're not a team player. And that's absolutely not true because I promise you, all the people that call you a kill whore, when you call in that AC-130 and change the game, they're going to be like, oh my god, you're so dreamy, you changed everything, you helped us win, you're so awesome, can you call in more AC-130s? That's how it's going to be. Any good team in Modern Warfare 3 is going to have two types of players. You're going to have Slayers, and you're going to have Objective Players. Your Objective Players, those are the people that deal with the domination points, the flags, the bombs. In Team Deathmatch, these are the people running support kill streaks, UAVs, counter UAVs, that sort of thing. Slayers are the people that kill by their name. That's all they do. They kill, they kill, they kill, and when they get bored of killing just for a little change of pace, they're going to kill some more. Ideally, you should not have more than one to two Slayers on your team, and everybody else should be Objective Players, and they should complement each other well. Well, objective players deal with objectives. Slayers keep the objective players alive and hold the objectives. Slayers should obviously camp key objectives, or as we would say, tactically holding or defending. Slayers also need to control certain choke areas, certain popular pathways, in places where the enemies could post up on, where they could sneak around you. That's where the Slayers need to be. They need to murder anybody that comes down those pathways. When the time is right, they need to push. They need to be aggressive. They need to destroy anything around an objective so your teammates can take it back or take it for themselves or escort the flag. And when need be, when the duty calls, Slayers need to get off their lazy killing asses and throw themselves on those bombs and flags and dom points, but mostly they need to be killing. Any good slayer is probably going to play a very conservative play style. They're going to play conservative most of the time to stack up their kill streaks because that's the point of this video. They're going to need to use the kill streaks to augment what they're doing to play this game. They cannot single handedly take a gun and run out there and murder everybody. They need other stuff going on. There is nothing more distracting to the enemy team than having this gigantic, annoying helicopter running around, even if it only kills one or two people, which is probable in this game because the helicopters are fairly weak. It is very psychologically distressing, distracting, upsetting. It really messes up the other team's gameplay and forces them to use stuff like blind eye, whereas they would be using sleight of hand or recon or something that's very bad for your health. While the AI-controlled helicopter-style kill streaks are very annoying and very effective, and they definitely help your team win, what helps your team win more is precision kill streaks. The Predator missile, the strafe run, the AC-130, stuff like that, stuff that you can control, you can destroy the enemy team with. I didn't get an AC-130 here, I got an assault drone instead, which is, I also, I use the assault drone when you see it to defend the B flag. It is much, much easier to stop the enemy from running away with an objective. If somebody's running away with your flag, do you want to try to put on your marathon pro class and chase them all the way across the map to get them? Or do you just want to call in a predator missile and smash them into little bits? Or if somebody's running around on the map, they're the last guy left on search and destroy, and you don't know where they are, just call in a strafe run. It'll sweep the whole map and kill them, and you'll win the game and look like a hero for it. The more unusual the kill streak, the more effective they can be. Even the AH-6 Overwatch, which most people see of as just you know, like your little protector buddy that helps you get more kills, if you get that and you decide to just sit in one place, that's more 
like a stationary helicopter. Nobody's coming near my bomb point in domination. No, sorry, demolition, my bad. Nobody's going to get my B flag in domination. Nobody's going to run away with my flag because I have a helicopter sitting right here watching it the whole time. If you get an assault drone, you can roll that out into the enemy base and wreak havoc while your team runs in and plants the bomb. These kill streaks can be the lifeblood of your team if you use them effectively. This video would not be complete if I didn't have some recommendations for you on what kill streaks are best. I always recommend starting with the Predator missile. You only have to get five kills to get there, four with Hardline. It's very, very easy to do. Always start with Predator missile. I'm a little bit partial to the regular attack helicopter because that's very easy to get with a double kill on the Predator missile. Unfortunately, it's very, very easy to shoot down. So really, if I was going to play for real, I would go next to the Reaper that has a flare, so it takes a lot longer to shoot down and you get a lot of remote controlled missiles that you can use to destroy people with. It's kind of like a mini AC-130. And the last kill streak that I would call in is definitely the AC-130. It's been a couple of games, but nothing is quite like the raw, unbridled power of that AC-130. Yeah, the Pavlo is bigger and it's meaner and it's buffed up and the Assault Juggernaut is, it's nice, but I really like the Recon jugger Juggernaut better. And the Osprey Gunner is kind of cool, but people shoot it down faster than the AC-130 most of the time because they shoot it with their damned assault rifles. Nothing Nothing beats the AC-130 as far as pure ass stompage goes, just dropping those huge bombs on the map and being very precise with the machine gun. You can control the entire map with the AC-130. So my recommended streak is Predator Missile, Reaper, AC-130. That's the best way to go. If you want to trade out that Reaper with a helicopter, do so at your own risk. Be aware they are much easier to shoot down. My last bit of advice is to not get too selfish with the kill streaks. While it's very nice being a slayer, it's very nice to have the luxury to avoid the objectives if you don't feel like dying over them, or to go to a little corner of the map to camp when it's appropriate, you should never, never do that all the time. You should always want to help your team win. Winning the game should always take precedence over your kill streaks. So when the time is right, go ahead and sacrifice yourself. Die, take those objectives, lose your kill streaks, and win the game. At the very end of this video, I have a giveaway for you all. Gamma Labs is now giving away free samples of the Lemon Lime and Blue Ice and all their new flavored stuff without the creatine. They made a new drink just for gamers, not for working out. New formula. It's like double the caffeine and double the energy and less than anything else. I can't legally reveal the name until one more day, so we're going to have to hold out on that one. But you can fill out a form on Facebook, and they'll send you the whole thing for free. Basically, you go to the Gamma Gamers Facebook page. You click like so that you can access all the stuff on the page, and they just like having a bunch of likes. They're nutty about that. Fucking old people. Like, oh my god, they like my Facebook page. But anyway, you go there and then you click on this little free samples tab down in the bottom right as the picture would indicate and you fill out a whole bunch of information about yourself, who sent you here, where you live, blah blah blah, what flavor you want and they will send you the new Gamma Labs flavors. And these I highly, highly recommend over the other ones. I like the new flavors a lot better. I would also highly recommend Lemon Lime over the other flavors but be careful because it will light your ass up. It's a very, very powerful energy drink. Don't take it lightly. Lastly, I'm going to disclose all of my uh, alignments with them. They sponsor me, they pay me, and they're running a promotion this weekend. They're basically paying me by the like on Facebook, so I have a big motivation here to uh, get you guys to go and like that Facebook page and sign up for free samples. They really just want everybody to try this stuff, and they're willing to pay me to beg you guys to try their free samples, so that's how that works. It's kind of nutty, but I think it's good stuff. I use it when I have to stay up 24 hours, because that, that's, that's about what it'll do to you, so be careful with that. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try the Gamma Labs. Let me know what you think about this new style of in-depth doing strategy. Let me know what you think about my strategy and everything. Feedback is always important, guys. Drifter out.